Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be working more on the person application. Now what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is getting the selected person uh, from our list and updating the current weight, money, and income based on the person that I selected. And we can have them do any of these uh, subs right here. So go ahead and double click on list people and it will open up the selected index changed. So now what we need to do is use a simple if statement. So if list people dot selected index does not equal negative one, then go ahead and do something. So if they have, if they selected anything on here, it, it will not equal negative one. If nothing is selected, uh, then this, whatever's inside of this if statement will not run. Now what we need to do is we need to get the person that has been selected. So we'll go ahead and type dim selected person as person. So we declared a selected person as a person and notice that we didn't uh, set a new, we didn't use a new keyword to create a new person. We're going to set this person equal to my people dot and we'll come down here and you can see that we've got a whole bunch of stuff that we can use and we're going to use index of so we're going to type my people and then we're going to add two parentheses now we are going to reference an index in my people and the index that we're going to use is list people dot selected index so whatever the um, whatever the whatever selected inside of this list, list box right here is going to be set to selected person so it's going to reference my people, uh, which is our array list, at index of list people dot selected index. So the index of this is going to match the index of that. And when we add the people um, to the list, they're added in numerical order. So if we have John at index of zero, uh, it will also be index of zero in the array list. So index of zero on the list and then the array list. So they're going to match, and we can use uh, list people dot selected index for this. Uh, it might be a little confusing at first. But uh, you'll pick it up later on. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to call the update all. But you can see that under here on update money and update weight and update update income, you can see that we have a problem. It will only update for the my default person. Now what we need to do is we need to um, by reference person as person so we will reference a person object that is created so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna delete this right here and we will type person dot get money dot to string so instead of making a copy of the person object that we have declared right here we're going to actually use that uh, person object which is referencing it so if we make any changes to this uh, selected person it's going to um, change it uh, if we make any changes inside of this sub it's going to change it down here so we'll go ahead and minimize that and we'll do that for each one of these right here so we will by ref person as person and we'll do it again for update income. So by ref person as person. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead and change this to person dot get income. Person. And then this one to person dot get weight. Okay, so 
Now that we've updated this to let us reference a person object in our update weight, update income, and update money, we're going to need to do that for the update all. And you can see that we're already getting an error. So under update all, we'll have it reference a, um, we'll by ref person as person. And down here, we'll just type in person person and person again so whoever we whatever person we reference to the update all is going to be referenced to each one of these and it's going to update our text boxes and we'll just type selected person right here now there's going to be one problem that we have with this since we declared selected person inside of the list people dot selected index changed we're we are not going to be able to use that outside of this sub when we need to be using it inside of um, button income click button exercise click and button work click and you can see we're already getting errors right here because we have not referenced a person so we'll go ahead and copy this right here and we're going to declare it outside of all of these subs just inside our class so we'll type private uh, selected person as person so now whenever the index is changed it's going to um, set that to the current person and so now what we're going to do is we are just going uh, under update all we're going to reference selected person and before we do that, we need to take this out right here because it has already been declared. Okay, so we will update all for the selected person. And selected person. Selected person again and then one more time for the income okay so now that we've done that what it's going to do is it's going to update each one of these for the selected person but you can see right here that we have my default person instead of selected person so we'll just go ahead and type that in right there and just to make this go a little bit quicker I'll copy this so copy that right there.